Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Let's Play Darkest Dungeon. Uh, so for this episode, I figured we would go on uh, our first veteran mission, our level 3 mission. Um, and I have never actually done a veteran mission before. I used to have, or I still do have, two save files for this game, but I primarily started playing on the one I'm recording for this series. And uh, it's actually, this is the farthest I've ever been in the game on either of the save files, and I've never actually done level 3 mission before. So what we're going to do, we're going to take Ross, our uh, level 3 crusader. We're going to put Rames in the second slot. We'll put Edie in the third and Fresla, who is kind of stressed out, but I, uh, I kind of want to take her anyway. Um, so we're going to take one level 3 and uh, three level 1s on a level 3 mission. Um, I don't know how smart that is, it could be a bad idea, but if it gets too rough we will just abandon the mission, but I think we should be okay. Um, so let's go ahead and provision and give this a shot. It's a medium mission, so we'll take uh, 12 food, 2 shovels, 2 antivenoms, 2 bandages, 2 herbs, 2 keys, 2 holy water, and we'll take um, I think 12 torches. And let's go. Pace out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Now, Oren. So like I said, I have not done a level 3 mission before. And I don't know if it's a really bad idea. Wow, she's stressed out way more than I actually thought. Um, hmm, yeah, well, we're, we're here now, so we're going to have to deal with it. Um, but I don't know if, like, the gap, you know, because level zeros can go on level uh, one missions. So level ones can go on level threes, but maybe the enemies are just do too much damage that uh, we'll just get destroyed. So we have to just explore 90% of rooms. So I think we're going to go just down this way and then sort of make our way around. Looks, I don't know what the layout's going to do up there, but we'll just have to see. So let's go ahead and get started. See how well this works. Um, I haven't figured out bookshelves. I'll have Rames here deal with it. Um, hmm. I mean, I don't think you'd use... I don't know. I just don't think... I could use a torch on it. Let's see. No effect. All right, I'm just going to deal with it and see what happens. So we have some knowledge. So he became a Warren's tactician, which is okay. It's not a bad trait. Maybe you just have, okay. Slavering ghouls. Haven't seen these yet. So one damage and lots of stress. Yeah, we could be in trouble here, actually. So we can disorient this guy. He dodged it though. He can't attack, so we're going to have him move. He can't attack, so we're going to have him. Uh, this is a bad move. This is stupid. Uh, I'm going to try to have her stun this guy. He resisted the stun. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, just so I can tell right now, this is going to go very badly. Try to stun him again. He's got 70% stun resist, which is just crazy. He's dodging that. Yeah, I just don't think they can hit these guys. This shuffle right here is annoying. Like, I can't do anything, and it just sucks. So we heal him and just keep shuffling these guys back and forth. Okay, so this might actually work a little better. But I get the feeling we're going to be abandoning this mission really quickly. Finally got the hit with the vapors he resisted, though. How quickly the tide turns. Hmm. I'm just going to keep trying to stun him. Maybe that's a bad idea. Yeah, I mean, look, she's already going to freak out. She is freaking out. She just became masochistic. 
masochistic. My blood is my penance. Take it, heretic. So who knows what she's going to do at this point. Yeah, as soon as we get out of this combat, if we get out of this combat, we're abandoning this mission. This was a bad idea. <laughs> I can already tell. Skull toss. He dodged it, thank God. So she's sacrificed herself for the good of the light. I don't know what just happened. She marked herself. Okay. Let's keep judging this guy. I just don't think we can do a lot of damage to them. Alright, at least we're sort of back in a normal positioning. Thought maybe we'd get the kill there with the bleed over damage, but just do damage. Yeah. Not a lot, but he did at least get the plague put on him. I mean, stress doesn't matter to her anymore. Let's see if she can kill him. Nope, dodged. Let's see if we can get the kill with a. Uh, a victory. Zealous, we did. Alright, so yeah, I mean, look at how much stress they took in that first round of combat. So we're going to take this treasure and we're just going to get out of here. We're going to we're gonna try something new gold, instead. Trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Wounds to be tended. Lessons to be learned. So he became sickly. He became mercurial. He became obsessed with cleanly, obsessed with cleanliness, but also gained some death blow resist. Warren tactician, but she also picked up. She's afflicted. Okay, so lesson learned. Um, and actually, so we got to get her like in the church for sure. She won't go there. Okay. What does she have? She's a tippler, so she will only drink. All right. Well, at least the caretaker's not in the bar. So we'll do that. And she's going to be there, like, forever, trying to get that stress down. Um, all these people. I just lost the, all of these people for a very long time. Just throw... I got to make sure... Doesn't have any weird gambling thing, so he's fine here. And I'll throw Edie in the brothel. And make sure he's not... Love interest, so he will only go to the brothel. Oh, that works out. All right. So as you can see now, that we're spending a lot of money. Let's see who we can get from the sage coach. All right. So we got a new Hellion, which I'm definitely gonna take. I don't care like what's wrong with her. She has a bad death blow resist, but other than that, she's fine. Skills are decent. So we're definitely going to take her because we just, we don't have any. Barbaric rage and unrelenting savagery make for a powerful ally. Let's see, we got two of those, three of those. Probably get another healer. She's obsessed with cleanliness, will only visit the brothel. I don't like those will only visit things that much, so I may pass on her. He will never drink and will only meditate. Mm. I'm gonna take Penel here. A sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. Should have done that first. I just increased my uh, the size of my stagecoach network. All right, so let's see what we have to do here. We don't have a lot of money, so I think we need to go on an easy mission. Take some apprentices out on a mission to kind of level them up. Um, let's take our new Hellion out. Uh, what about Sydney here? Yeah, we'll try him. I usually do this off camera. Take him out. And we could take one of our healers out. I want to look at her. Yeah. Illumination. I don't really run with illumination that often. Let's take you back here. Let's see what you have. So the yeah, I'm gonna take Pennell. I just can't afford to like 
I basically can't afford to uh, retrain her right now, so I just gotta take her out and try to level her up. So we're gonna go on this scouting mission in the ruins. Don't have a lot of money, so we're gonna have to uh, really kind of chance it. We'll just take one shovel, one venom. Let's get our torches first. I'm just gonna take like seven torches. Um, key is good because we can find extra money. I'll take another bandage, another venom, another shovel. So we're basically only going to have the money we have from, we earn from this mission. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Pace out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Now, Oren. All right, so a bunch of newbies here. Paeus, Sydney, Canegras, Canegras, I guess, and Pinnell. Um, lots of cool alternate skins. I'm really digging that. Um, and a 90, explore 90% 90 of room mission. So we'll just go back here, start in the back. And yeah, I'm not very happy with uh, progress as of late, or lack of progress, I should say. We just, we can't seem to uh, string together a series of wins. And it's kind of holding us back. So combat right off the bat. He dodged that push, which is excellent because I don't uh, don't really have a way of dealing with it. So weakening curse, vulnerability hex, demon pull. We're gonna do that. We're gonna try to pull the bone courtier to the front. We're gonna try to stress us out with our goblet. So she's got a bleed. She can heal that. So we'll do that. Save our bandages for people that don't have that ability. Let's try pistol shot on the courtier. Courtier's dead. The enemy crumbles. Let's stun the... Uh, oh, we can't stun the acolyte. Can I just judge the acolyte? Yeah. I'm going to try to take that acolyte out, basically. This guy hits hard, but I'm okay with that. Wrens are nasty because they're bleeds. He re oh, I thought he was going to resist it. Alright, so we'll use a bandage on him. Point blank shot. Let's do it. Because that guy's pretty nasty. Oh, and it takes him back. That's cool. Um, let's see. Weakening curse. Wield reconstruction. That's a heal. Invulnerability hex. Marks him. It makes him take more damage. Let's try it. They dodged it. They have a really high dodge, I believe. What do they got? Uh, 12. I think that's high. Let's start a stunner. Good. Um, we'll try just Wicked Slice. As it's not Wicked Slice, I don't think. Yeah, it is. Starting to learn. Alright, let's stun this guy. He resisted, but I think we'll be mostly okay. Do you have just a damage so you can weaken them? I'll do it. He resisted it. I'm not so great with the support classes. Uh, I'm good with a healing support class. I'm great, but uh, with the others, not so much. I think they're pretty powerful. I just got to learn how to use them better. This advantage. Give them no quarter. But I've never been a support class uh, fan. I typically play like DPS characters and things like that. So, just a learning curve I'll have to deal with. I really like this alternate uh, Hellion skin. It's really cool. It's such a little touch to add to the game, but uh, it just I think it adds so much. So, unfortunately, we are just going to have to go and explore this whole chamber because we need to explore 90% of the runes, and if we skip this, we probably won't get it. So, we're going to take some extra stress for the backtracking, but I think we'll be okay. And I'm just going to try to go easy on the torches. Blanket fire. A bunch of dodges by us except for uh, Pinnell, I believe. Alright. So I can Iron Swan this guy, which I'm going to try to do. They dodge, though. Try to shoot these guys in the back. Nice. 
Devastated and you're trying to get the other one up front. Ooh, and that crit it too. He resisted the pull, but hey, I got, I'll take a crit. There he is speaking some Eldritch uh, language. Ooh, nasty, nasty, nasty attack. We're going to pump some heals into her real quick. Uh, oh, she just has party heal. Ugh. That's fine. Um, let's do point blank. It'll knock him back and get our hellion back in front, which I'm okay with. And let's try to stun. Oh, I thought we could maybe stun that guy. Um, let's try to kill him. Dude. Perfect. Another bleed there. Um, oh, he can heal too for a lot. But possibly put a bleed on her, but she can deal with that bleed, so let's let's do that. She resisted the bleed and got 10 health. That is like about as perfect as that can go. Alright. Let's uh just try to kill the guy that's almost dead. She can't heal her own bleeds, I don't believe, so we'll use a bandage. And let's try a stun on the cutthroat. Let's go for the kill almost. And we should get it here. Excellent. Again, some freezing happening there. I'm not sure what is causing that. I don't know if there's an update recently or what. Alright, so we uh let's use some torches because we are below. Does that take us to double? Um, I'm just going to go for that. We at least have one chance of scouting and surprise, so we got scouting. doesn't really matter because we have to go to the runes, but at least we can kind of be prepared. Uh, so we're going to go this way. We're going to have combat right off the bat and then combat in the room ahead. All right, uh, let's, we can't stun, so we'll just try to get, if we can get a crit, we could have killed that guy, but of course they dodged it. Um, hmm, can shoot him. Seven damage, and maybe if we do the demon's pull, we might kill it. We did. Perfect. All right, uh, what does she got? If it bleeds, so she can bleed these guys. I actually like that attack, and it just killed him outright, which is even better. Good dodge. Um, we'll just uh, forget the name of this. Weakening Curse. He resisted it though. Should get a kill. As victories mount, so too will resistance. All right, and hmm, I, you know I've already kind of forgotten what we use here. I don't. I think you. I think you want to have like a medicine. Oh, whew, I almost interacted with it. I'm going to ignore it because I do. I think you want to have um, like medicinal herbs, which I didn't bring. So I'm going to ignore this. And I want to like, since there is combat in here, I'm going to go for the double bonus to surprise. See if we can get that. And then we did. Excellent. All right. So the goal is going to be to take out those guys in the back. Those arbalists are nasty. I thought about going for the stun there, but didn't then because I thought, you know, maybe it would, uh... How much damage does this do? This says... Uh... Four to eight. Pistol shot can do three to eight. And this moves them, but then she can move back with her uh move right. I don't know, I'm not sure. Uh let's just try to pistol shot this obvious. Does it want of hers move her forward? No. Okay. I thought maybe I could work out something where they were like trading places but over and over again. But no, doesn't seem to be the case. So I could waste, just try to take out this Arbalus. 
Um, I think I'm going to try to bleed this one. He resisted the bleed. All right, so now they're going to take their turns. Good dodge there. So what I want to do, I could probably kill this one with a judgment. Unless she misses. Okay, so I'm going to try to pull this one forward now. Good dodge. And now we should be able to just take these guys out pretty quickly. And these guys, they you know, they can do some damage, but they're not they're not terribly difficult opponents. If we stun one of them, it'll be even better. Which we did. So we can take the one out that's not stunned. And then let's see if we can yep, a singular perfect. strike. Kind of liking these guys. I actually picked up a book uh, from the library yesterday about uh, it's called Harrison Square, and it's kind of this uh, combination of like uh, Madeline Engel with some Lovecraft thrown in, so lots of this occult stuff. I haven't started reading it yet, but I'm excited to do it. Um, I'll let you know what I think when I start it. So get a hunger. Go ahead and eat. What is this? This is a locked display cabinet. We do have a key. So let's try it. You know, get some treasures. 1450, which is great because uh, if you remember, we spent like everything we had just to come on this mission after abandoning our, uh, our first attempt at a veteran mission. So nothing here, which we knew. So now we just have to go back. The way we came, we're going to take some additional stress for doing so, so let's keep the light up while we do that. And you can get attacked on the way back, even though you know we've been through here, there is a, there is a chance that uh, enemies can respawn on the map. Oops. All right, so we'll be back to where we started here soon, and then we'll just make our way up. And another branching path ahead, unfortunately. So hunger again. That's going to do all of our food. And so up ahead, we've got interactive objects, some combat, and a trap. So just going to do my trap check real quick. Ten, zero... 20. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just reading this uh, resistances to traps stat right here. So a bunch of 20s and a 0 and a 10. So one of these two will be our trap disarmor for this run. So this is a backpack. We'll go ahead and just interact. It's usually loot. 1,000 gold is great. So here's our combat. Not a bad combination of enemies, but could be worse. Could be better, too. Um, let's try to stun one of these nasty dudes up front. Um, let's try... What is this? Weakening Curse. Well it seems to crit a lot. Does it have a high crit chance? It's 5% crit. That's nice. Start working away on this ball and rabble. And we'll kind of have everybody in a weakened condition. He passed his turn. That's weird. So now we'll try to stun the second one since the first one is resistant to stun. And we get a kill instead, which is even better. How much damage? We can do 5 to 11. Let's try it. Perfect. I'm just going to stick with this attack. He's debuffed so he can deal out less damage, right? That's what that does. Um, let's go for the one with the most health. Get the kill. And we can judge. 
Nice crit. Unneed it, but we'll take it because it does release uh, relieve stress. Remind yourself More gold and extra torch. This is slow and insidious killer. All right, uh, and we'll just let the Hellion try to deal with this, which she does. Perfect. Uh, empty room, so we won't worry about torches here. We don't get scouting, but that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and move. Another alchemy table, which I will ignore, because I'm pretty sure it's medicinal herbs that you need to deal with that. Box. Let's see. Do we know what's in this room? No, so let's use some torches. Just want to get to plus two. And it's empty. And now we only have to go to one or the other. Uh, and we'll complete the mission. I'm going to go right, because I'm right-handed. Why not? Uh, let's look. These bookshelves can be so bad, but I'm going to try it anyway. Dull and uninteresting, so nothing happened. Which I'll take. Hunger, so we're going to have to starve, so we're all just going to take damage and stress. Do I have any torches? I might as well use them, because this is the last room. We're at full. Bonus. No surprise, but that's fine. All right, what does this do? So this uh, keeps the light up and it reduces their dodge. Oh, that's great because they have a ton of dodge. They resisted it, but that's fine. All right, so I'm going to try to pull it forward. Get a crit from that, which is awesome. That is so good. I love that attack, actually. Really starting to come around on the occultists. Yeah, we're just going to take her out. A couple of bleeds coming in that we're not going to be able to deal with. Because I don't have any more bandages. She can heal her own. She resisted it. Um, Let's see. Can I shoot this guy in the back? Yes. Let's do it. He misses. Alright, so... Let's try putting bleeds on these guys, since they like to bleed us. We'll give them a taste of their own medicine. So can he heal bleed? No, he cannot. Okay. Well, we're going to weaken this big one. Yeah, he may bleed out, unfortunately. I'll try to heal him with my healer. Uh, let's see if we can't... Well, that guy is actually bleeding out, so let's try to work on the bone right now. Excellent. That's not true. He says he never misses, but oh, another bleed. He might die. He's on death's door. Alright, as long as this guy doesn't get to go, he does, and he's going to hit him. Ooh, two stands at death's door. So we definitely have to heal. I don't. We can't outheal that bleed, unfortunately. Mm. This is getting really nasty. So the bleed took him to death's door. Oh my god. This is not the time for dodges. Alright, so we're going to adrenaline rush just to take our bleed off. See how quickly stuff can go wrong, man? It's crazy. So he's going to bleed. Another win. She just died. Nope, she's on death's door. Set the stage wow. for heroism or cowardice. We have to party heal. All right, I think he can kill this one. Make it weaker. We have to get a kill here before this thing gets a turn off. Let's try to stun it. Perfect. And we should get out of here alive. Ooh, that was close. Very close. Alright. creatures can be felled. All right. they can be beaten. So we have a chest here. We don't get we don't have a key to open it. It's trapped. Ooh. Alright. Well. <laughs> the great ruins that one went us. right up to the edge there. We could have lost some of our newbies. They hold. Let's see what we get. 
so health below 50% she loses the speed not too terrible he has less resistance to blight but more damage against unholy monsters 10% max HP that is a bad uh, bad trait I don't like it and hatred of unholy perfect there is a great horror beneath the manor a crawling chaos that must be destroyed all right, so we're back up to 10,000 gold, which is a, a comfortable level. I like to be around 13,000 between missions, but that's okay. Uh, Edie here has uh, left town. We sent him into the brothel to reduce his stress, which he did reduce a lot of his stress. And uh, But he left town, so he may or may not come back. We just don't know. Rames here uh, is down to two, which I'll take. Ross lost 56, so he's down to two. Um... So Freslos has sworn off liquor after a particular bad night of drinking. So now she has resolution. So she will never drink. Um, so she covered her stress though. Uh, I might treat her again. Let's see what we got here. So resolution, she will never drink. So she just won't. Okay. Um, I actually really like this healer. So I am going to. So she won't go to the bar. What have, I, what have I got for upgrades here on the brothel? So this increases the slots. Oh, I see. So you kind of go stress recovery, reduce cost, number of slots, stress recovery. All right. So let's add a second gambling Strong slot drink. and get Fresno in there. And it's a thousand gold for that. The rush of life. Before we end this video, let's see who we got. So we got another Hellion, which I am going to take. Blue Domania says she's obsessed with clean, cleanliness. Well, that's okay. Um, what's the name of the one we just picked up? My roster is actually full. Hmm. See if I can increase my roster. Nope. It is as big as it can be. 20. Okay. So who would I like to get rid of? Do I fire ED since he's gone? He's level 1. I like him. I'm probably going to get rid of boats in here. Just so I can pick up. I mean, he's fragile anyway, so I'm going to dismiss him and Another pick up this Hellion instead. Cast aside like a spent torch. And I am going to change uh, her skin just because she looks the same as Pius. She has the same name as Pius. So we're going to rename her as well. I'll use this one and we will rename her to... Oryx. All right. Still have some stress to take care of. I'll do that off camera. Um, let's see what we have in store for us. So, looks like I need to stick to level one missions for a while. Maybe level up some more people into level two and then take on the Swine Prince again, so I'll probably focus on another Ruins mission and then go back to taking on the Swine Prince and then maybe we can get some people to level 3. But yeah, I don't know. I seem to be a little roadblocked on progression here. Lots of level 1s, not too many level 2s, but I think you really want to have level 2s before you go on these veteran missions, so we'll see. Level 2s will go on level 1 missions, so that's maybe what we have to do. Uh, like maybe take care tell out on this uh, ruins mission with some uh, other level ones and we'll see what we get but that's going to do it for this video thanks for watching everyone i will see you next time